What's going on guys? Alex here and welcome back to Monster Motors. So it's been a little while, but we've got the Clio back out. We've got Sam back down as always. So today, new wheels and bucket seats with harnesses and all that. So, project race car. Hopefully we are nearly there, ready for the first track day. So wheel wise, I bought some Team Dynamic 1.2s off some bloke off Facebook as you do and uh, have them repainted so here we go going for fluorescent yellow these are really really bright in the sunshine which has now just vanished but once they're on we'll get some uh, some photos and videos of them going on and then over here i've got the cobra seats which i will be back in a sec so i've gone for the cobra imolas again so same that i bought for the s15 the only difference is I went fat boy seat style, so this way people can actually sit in there without uh, any issues. And then over here we've got the Schroff six point racing harnesses. So the harnesses and seats got from one of the guys that helps me out loads. Uh, it's Frame Racewear, it's to, it's to give him the cheeky little shout out. So yeah, they, they always help me out. They're the ones that I got like helmet. Or like the fireproof stuff, the seat, uh, seats, you yeah, well, I've got the seats, the shoes, the gloves, everything. So massive shout out to them. I'll leave their details down below because literally anything sort of race wear and all that kind of stuff, they can sort you out. So I guess we'll crack on, get the wheels off, start unbolting the seats from underneath. That's why it's already up in the air. And uh, yeah, let's just get straight to it. So while I cocked up with fitting the first wheel, as you saw, I probably dropped it on the disc. Sam's got the seats out, so... Oh, remember the plugs. Oh. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Well, that's how you unplug it. <laughs> <laughs> just yeet it. Okay, right, never mind. <laughs> the car's just gonna be like this. <laughs> So while we're at it, I'm gonna rip out all this carpet as well because well, it weighs a ton and you know, race car. So plus I think I'm gonna have to weld some uh, brackets down here for the um, for the harness bar, uh, not the harness bar, the, the harnesses. So we'll get this out. Give it a quick way because I think I've got the scales here anyway. Because I remember the the back carpet weighed an absolute ton, so I'll be interested to see how much this weighs and how much weight we're we're saving from it. So cue the time lapse and uh, hopefully it all goes well. So, good thing we are actually doing this because I don't know if you can see it, but there's a pool of water. It's actually disgusting. So, what I think it is is actually this uh, rear window washer. So, let's get this out and get this all dried up and, and cleaned out. Six and a half hours later. Right, so after a lot of struggling and shouting and swearing and all sorts, I cleaned up the puddle in here, removed the um, rear washer, jet, whatever it is, I don't, I don't even know the name, the tube. As I was doing that, I pulled the wrong hose out of the actual um, the window washer liquid. It's called a washer bottle, you numpty. And it just went everywhere, so I spent ages just getting the scuttle off, trying to get the wipers off so I could get to it and then sort all that out. So in the meantime, Sam's been swearing at the seats, trying to get the mounts sort of working. So I think we're at the point now, the seats sort of in, it's pretty much in place. We just need to uh, bolt it in and hopefully it does go in as it should. So I just can't, I just need to work out if we still need these, which I, I doubt it, 
but this I didn't have any anyway so probably just we'll just get rid of them but we'll mount this side up first and see how it goes So the wheels are now on, they look absolutely mega. We have managed to get the driver's seat in at long last. I really do need to work out how the focus on this thing works. Do that. Nope. That's just zoom. Oh, well. uh, oh, oh, there we go. Right, so yeah, so driver's seat's in, we put it in. We had to take it back out because it was like sat off to the right. So the steering wheel and the pedals were off to the left. We need to yeet that away because that's not needed. So yeah, so driver's seat's in. Harness, um, I need to get the guys next door once they're open again because today is Sunday. Um, to weld in a couple of uh, harness spreaders at the bottom. We've got one here. And they need to weld another one somewhere to the side here. Unsure where just yet, but sort of, um, I think maybe on this back bit here for the lap belt. And then over here, we've got this one. It would have been better if it was here, but I tried drilling this out and tapping it to use one of the Shroff ones. But then I managed to find one of these M10 ones that I bought for the S15 that never worked out anyway. So I've got that in. So that's one of the lap belts. I've got six spreader plates. So luckily that should be enough. So two under here somewhere for the crotch strap. That one doesn't need it. And then one either side here for the other lap belt. Oh, to be honest, I don't know if the, if you, can you run two harnesses off of one point? Probably not. So yeah, would need two there. And then obviously this back one need to work out how to wrap it around there so I, I believe I can either just wrap it straight around the roll bar or wrap it around there and then bring it back down here but then that means um, trying to find yet another two another four spreaders so I think for now we'll see how that goes but yeah so that's the uh, progress at the moment it's been an absolute nightmare. So I can't remember if I've said it, but I cut uh, the rear washer tube and that was just psh, water everywhere. So that just took so long to try and get all of that sorted, but hopefully it's all done. That reminds me, I need to put another uh, trim holder piece, whatever you want to call it in there. But yes, because the plan today was to do the seats, as much for the harnesses as possible, the wheels, and then we're going to move on to doing the rear spoiler, which I've had for fucking months now, doing the brake duct cooling theme of Bobby, which I also have. But uh, yeah, I don't think they're happening. So if we can just get two seats in and partially of the harnesses in so wrapped around the roll cage then i'll take it as a win today considering how it's gone but yeah just take a look i really do love these wheels so excuse the mess but as you can tell we're still working also i did weigh the carpet the carpet alone was 10 kilos so including the foam bits the various bits of plastic probably another couple kilos so definitely a decent bit of weight saving going on so what i'm going to do is clean this up and then see if i can find some heavy duty like extra sticky double-sided tape just to put the mat where is the mat over here just so i can uh, put the mat back in just because if it does rain or anything like that then it's just nice to not have the squeaking going on from that so once Sam gets back, we'll put the other seat in and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll nearly be there. Right, and now the passenger seat is back in as well. Oh. Sam's slaving away putting the grommets in. So, 
yeah, it's starting to starting to come along quite nicely. It's starting to look like an actual race car. So, again with the focus in, what's the, oh Jesus, that brightness though. All right, there we go. Seats are in. Harnesses. I'm going to leave out for now. As I said, I'm going to get next door to weld in the plates for the um, for the other lap side and the crotch straps. Then I'll just do it at the same time. Wrap it around. Wrap it around the roll bar. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's been a fairly successful day. Uh, just a long old struggle, but the wheels look awesome. Seats look awesome, and they fit awesomely as well as uh, it can actually get in and out so i feel like i've said awesome too many times but fuck it it's awesome so uh yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, if you have make sure to subscribe because we're getting very close to actually taking this out for its first shakedown we're going to see either brands hatch or Lydon hill as they're probably cl quite close to me so if something does go wrong it's not that far to to get back home but yeah make sure to drop the video a like and to subscribe as there's going to be plenty more to come with this cheers guys <laughs>